Oh, jeez, what was that? No, no. Why? Ay, 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 ay. Don't. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Was that a gator? Here we. What in the? What the hell is that noise? Yes, I see you. Don't. What? No, no, no. Why? Why do the deer always try to kill me? Even the gator isn't as aggressive as you. Duh. Right. Of course, more raccoons. I just want to get to the outpost. Gotta drop off this space heater, which I just realized I've been carrying a radiator on my back this whole time. I snuck up and killed two gators with a bow while carrying a radiator on my back. I mean, is this dude just not the manliest man that's ever manned? <laughs> then gets jump scared by raccoons. There you are. They are adorable. Could you be a hat? Could you be a hat? Like we got the ghillie suits with the apex. Why didn't we get uh, raccoon skin hats? I know nothing about him. Is that a big one? A, a one class animal hitting level three? Seems like it would be. Another one class animal hitting level three? Should probably have done my research. All I have with me I could take him with is uh, 300 grain arrows. Haven't gotten the 22 yet. Yeah, I feel like I passed my turn because I have. Raccoons distracted me. Well, that's not good. Come on, over. There you go. Not gonna lie, I was a little concerned you wouldn't figure out how to get through the gate. Well, here's the lodge. Not gonna lie, I don't make a habit of spending time here. I guess check the door? Oh, of course. Huh. I thought it was just good old-fashioned southern hospitality to leave your place unlocked in these parts. But who knows what kinds of valuables they've got in there. Some of the keys are faded. Not the most robust security system. Zero, one, four, five, and six. Five factorial combinations. That's uh, 120, and that's without repeating digits. <laughs> and my students say math is pointless. Betty must know the code, right? Let's call her. Just try to point out that math is useful, but you couldn't come up with the code? Hey, Mrs. Tackett, sorry to bother you again. My counselor's out dropping off the heater, but the door is locked. Would you happen to have the key code to hand? Unfortunately, I do not, Miss Davis. I've been out of commission so long with my neck, you understand. Do you know who does have the code then? Mr. Ernie, maybe. I think it's best you just leave the heater outside on the porch there. The boys will be along for the meeting shortly. Okay, if that works for you. All the best, Mrs. Tackett. Bye-bye now. Best do as she says, I guess. I just wonder why they're so reluctant to give us the code. Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that they already have three heaters in there. Why so many heaters? Wait, uh, they got like little food trays and things up in there. Hang on, before I put the radio, radio, radiator down. You already have three, hang on. Can I, can I get a little better look at this place? Not really much of a place for a meeting. You only got, uh, you got two chairs facing away, two chairs facing each other. I guess upstairs there looks like there's a table. Again, no one cleaned up after their time outside. Go figure. Um, there's a hole in the fence. Well, that's, uh, that's definitely something came busting in. I would hazard a guess that's not flood damage. Does this gate work? Yep. All right, where am I putting this thing? Can you take a peek inside the window there? Oh. Uh, Wilfred, how'd you get inside? Wait, that's not a reflection, right? You got in there? <laughs> dogs are better crook than I am. Well, now I can't look inside because the dog's in the way. Ah, oh, come on. Can you, can you come outside? Come over here, buddy. By this window. Come here. And hopefully he's out of the way. Yes. That's three of the same damn heater. Uh, what? Let me try Betty again. No answer. Well, maybe Southerners are just super sensitive to the cold. My mama just huddled up with a blanket, but I guess she was made of sterner stuff than some of these rich folks. I don't want to think the worst. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'll mention it to Betty later. The benefit of the doubt? Like, I, I, I mean, what kind of crime could they could be committing? Okay, 
all the really urgent things are out of the way, but I've got to be honest with you, Rookie. There's another reason you're here. Let me show you what I'm trying to protect. Head over to the Camp Haven bunks, and I'll explain on the way. All right, uh, quick question. My dog found a way in. Uh, oh, yep, there he is. Can, can we get him out? That's trippy. I can actually just barely see him through the wall. Oh, okay. Magical. Absolutely magical. All right, there's a lookout post on the way, and then the Camp Haven bunks. Getting a move on. All right, I don't know why they need three separate satellites all pointing in different directions, especially given if it was for TV. Well, I guess the one on the corner there's pointed the right way, but at least now I have an ATV. That'll help things along. Yeah, it looks like I'm up to no good. So last summer, some of the kids at our camp reported hearing weird noises. You know, they're just kids. First time away from home for most of them. Of course, it was just a case of too much sugar, right? Well, not gonna lie. That's what I told myself until parents started pulling their kids out. Health and safety concerns, wild animals. We take every measure to protect our kids. And if that wasn't bad enough, we had the worst flooding in 40 years last week. Camp Haven is almost a year old and barely hanging on. But I think there's something else going on here, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Just... just let's be discreet. Betty didn't want the camp opening here at all, and I don't want to give her any more reason to doubt me. It's not much, but it means everything to me to be able to do this for these kids. It's not just hunting, either. It's about trust building, leadership, community. You get it. I know you do. Uh, that's one good thing, always. There, there's this wonderful underlying mystery. It's like an interactive, uh, true crime. So all we know is that they're gathering all the space heaters. For some reason. Oh, jeez, what was that? No, no. Wait, aye, 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 aye. Don't. Jesus. Like, so far, the thing that's threatened me the least is the one with the most teeth. Yeah, just go on about your day. I ain't here to bug you. There are so many pigs around here. Here. Oh, I just... Yep, another pig. Oh, my lord. They're aggressive. Oh, there goes a quail. Great, the pigs are headed back. I do not want to have to compete with the pigs. There they go. Hmm. Guessing this is the camp. Complete with spare tire obstacle course. See that broken tire swing? We got lucky here. That and a few deck chairs blown off course are the worst damage we suffered. There should be some extra rope inside. Can you get it swinging again? Seriously? You have a camp with no maintenance crew? You say a rope inside this building. There's a rope inside. Inside where? The building. Which of the seven? Gee, I wonder where the rope is. Wow. Harry Potter style foot lockers and everything. I think you had some lying around here somewhere. What worries me is it was just lying on a random bed. A tire swing? Delta Summer. Right, can you take a look around? I know some of the kids who reported the weird noises stayed in these bunks. If your tree branch is making that much noise with no weight on it, you might not want to swing from that. You trying to play with the tire, Wilford? Oh, I'm supposed to do what now? Follow these tracks or something? Wait, what? Well, I wasn't wrong about them being on too much sugar. Where does this lead? <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Scorched grass. It's early summer and the ground is soaked. You remember our fire safety classes, right? Literally the first damn thing you're told. No building fires near anything flammable, grass included. If this was one of our counselors' idea of a prank, I'm gonna have to give them a talking to. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, there's more to investigate back this way. Gotcha. Just in case I come across one of those counselors. Need the panther out. I've barely been back here since our last session. The flooding sure hasn't helped. Wait, what? What's that? That's a kid's handwriting. Which is... scorched grass. A woman living in the woods. We really do have to limit their sugar intake. But there are patches of scorched grass here. Note from a young camper. I can't sleep. An old lady out by the campsite gave me some candy. She told me there's witches here. 
She said they, f they footsteps. She said they footsteps scorch the grass and they make horrible screams. Okay, that's yeah, a kid. Like they're on fire. Brian told ghost stories. Ty started crying and she heard noises. What about the others? They're all over the place. I'm scared. What? By the campsite. Gave me some candy and told me there's witches. Who doesn't teach their kids not to take candy from strangers? Just saying. Ooh. Wait, this is kind of... Or is that new? That's not new. Oh, this is a map of Mississippi Acres. Must be the other spots where kids had heard noises. I've heard plenty of ghost stories set around these parts, but this is... Hello, ma'am. What can we do for you? Excuse the interruption, Miss Davis, but I've had some residents of Jonesville call me up reporting a gator sighting. <laughs> they got little kids, and it ain't a good idea to go back if a big old mean one's made his nest there. I suspect he washed up with the high water. You got your counselor on the line there. Could you go and take a look, sugar? I'll send you the details. Yeah, we're on it. We'll let y'all know how it goes. If it's a nuisance gator, we can decide what to do with it there and then. I appreciate it. If it's a nuisance gator. You live in a habitat of gators. Most folks around here know how to handle an alligator, but we don't take chances where kids are concerned. Can you go take a look? Sure. We don't want to address the mysterious story about, you know, witches and then a map that, you know, has two locations oddly marked on it. Sure. Okay. Fine. Oh, that actually works out because... I got the outpost over there. Perfect. <laughs> well, I have tracks turned off, but I see tracks. I wonder. I guess I'm just supposed to follow the tracks? Wait, these are human. <laughs> I'm working on it, dear. Definitely appears that a person pursued this particular gator. Dundee, you back here? Nah, this isn't your thing. You're into crocodiles. We're headed right back to the spot in the river where I was just bow hunting gators. I hope I didn't already kill it. Well, the human footprint stopped a while back, actually, but this gator got around. I'm a little concerned I did things out of order again because it's still telling me to head back to the spot where these tracks started. Oh, great. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure right over there, like that's that hillside the deer kept coming down. I was hunting gator oh, right there. Oh, but that's a seven. I haven't seen that guy yet. This doesn't seem sketchy at all. Jesus. Yeah? So unfortunately, I really strongly feel like I've screwed this up. Because I'm here. The tracks end. And I just got a seven sitting over there, either in the grass or in the water, yelling at me. And it's still telling me to go back. So I'm going to head back and see if or where I screwed up. I'm getting out of here. Don't worry. You're not destined to become a pair of boots today or a belt or a purse or a jacket. Actually, you might be big enough for all of them. Huh. So I'm back at the start of the gator tracks. Maybe I need to backtrack to human a little bit. Are you human? Go knock on some doors. No one home over there. Only one house left. <laughs> deer got me. Oh, there's not even a door over here. Plenty of deer. Okie dokie. Well, I don't know what's going on, if the radio's broken or what, but I guess I'm going to head back to the outpost, which is just, you know, that way, and go have lunch. And hopefully someone contacts me about what I'm supposed to be doing. If this gator did show up with the flood water, it's bound to be confused. Keep your wits about you. Aha! Uh -huh. And I'm back from lunch, and look at that! Seems to have worked. Look around for clues. Hmm. Are the tracks here? Yes, they are. All right. Gators are lazy sons of guns at the best of times. I don't get why it... Okay, now I go back and find human tracks. It's the only downside when the uh, missions decide that they don't want to work properly. Oh, of course. Someone was on its trail. A catch pole? They were serious about this. What? A catch pole? Look around for clues, investigate the catch pole. Oh, way over here, in the grass. I somehow saw it from back there. Gotcha. It takes a lot to rip that snare. 
This thing must have been pissed. I say, don't they normally use like steel cable or like really strong nylon, uh, like paracord? Wait, wait, has that been saying black bear this whole time? What is that? And we're dealing with some total amateurs. Gator guys, this ain't. Is that supposed to be tape? This says black bear as well. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Cause right where we find the tape is where the, oh no, the footsteps stop for the, for the human black bear thing. This is a crocodile black bear. The further and further I go tracking this thing, the more I feel like I missed something again. There must have been a bear under the tracks, because now I'm not getting the bear mark. Okay. Well, I'm coming up on the end again. Looks like that big gator from earlier is still over here. In and out. So it got out, wandered over to Jonesville, or someone followed it, and then it went right back the way it came, with its would-be captors in hot pursuit. But Betty called us here first, right? How'd these folks get here before us? Hey, Mrs. Tackett. My counselor's here at Jonesville. Happy to report that our reptilian friend has made its way back to the bayou, but not without a fight. Did you call someone else in here first? Why, well, no, Miss Davis. Can't say I did. What happened? Well, there's a broken catch pole and some tape. Someone clearly had some fun. Wouldn't surprise me if some yokel had got it into himself to make it into tomorrow's papers. You know Delta folk. Bless their hearts. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, you can call up the residence group, let them know it's safe to come back. Thanks for the hard work, y'all. Bye bye Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Someone's pissing off alligators that are probably already pretty out of it after the flooding. Call me paranoid, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's a connection between all of this weirdness. They don't say half hills, half delta, all crazy for nothing. And that's not just me being an uppity Yankee. You heard, Betty. Folks here are quite something. I've seen you in action, and I know you can handle a gator. Just keep your eyes open and your rifle loaded, okay? I didn't bring a rifle. Let's take another look at that map. Can you take out the map again? Yeah, sure. Let me just get into this tree where I'm getting hissed at and draw my attention away from potential threats to stare at a map. Why not? Oh, I have to access mission stuff. How do I do that again? No. Locate first slice. List. Hold that thought. That gator is not far. Okay, it's not marked on this map. I'm going to have to go Codex, Mississippi Acres. No? Oh, duh. Mission items. Uh, the letter? No. Note from Young Camper. There it is. I'm 90% certain the one in the middle is one of our campsites. Try taking a look around. Oh, and let's make sure Betty doesn't get word of this, at least for now. I'm not sure how she'd react to a literal witch hunt. Okay, so off the point of this thing and southeast of this little lake here. Let's see something. Oh, look, now it's marked on the map, and then the other one's over here. All right, Mr. Gator, you have a terrific day. Brush your teeth, and, uh, you know, enjoy your keto diet or whatever you're on. Let's get the hell out of here, Wilfred. Don't. Don't. Oh. Almost passed it. Wait, there's a shack. Was that a gator? Here we... What in the... What the hell is that noise? Is this...
this what the kids were hearing? See if you can find what's causing it. Uh-huh. Wait. No, I hear static. All that noise come from that little radio. I mean, there's some bass to it. I gotta get me one of those. Is that a goddamn tape player? How'd they get that up there? Find some way to shut it off. I can't hear myself think and I'm not even there. Gladly. Finally. Okay, let's focus here. That tape sounded damaged, but I get what they were going for. Not hard to imagine a bright-eyed sixth grader hearing it and thinking witches. Versus gators. We're right by the river. This was actually one of the worst hit areas. Flood water crested at over 20 feet. Jesus. So the tape player must have gotten a real submerging in spite of the best efforts of the person who placed it. There's no way they could have climbed up that high without access to tools. Let's see if we can find anything. I'd just like to point out, I managed to hit the speaker and not the area that would have the tape so the tape would still be intact. Uh, anyway, so probably in this shed over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of my point blank shot. All right, you give me a break. Ooh. Locked, as it should be. We usually hide the keys in plain sight inside hollow rocks. Not like we usually have to worry about burglars in rural Mississippi anyway. I don't remember where we put this one, but it's probably close by. <laughs> nah, couldn't be that one. <laughs> Come on, I got the universal key. Ah, fine. <laughs> A suspiciously light rock. In amongst a field of rocks. What is it? What could it be? What might it be? I don't know. Uh, nope, it's nothing. That's it. Grab the key. Okay. We're trying. Is it not? Is that not a thing? Or do I just have the key now? Oh, and the ch look at that. Ow. Duh, right? Just as I suspected. A ladder. <laughs> So the person who did this knew where to find the key and knew they'd find a ladder in here. Assuming they use this ladder. That means we're dealing with either Camp Haven staff or someone from the big game club, since we tend to use the same facilities. Hey, uh, didn't Betty say she would broke her neck recently? Hmm. I have my suspicions, but our evidence is still circumstantial at best. Let's do some more digging. There was another spot on the map not far from where you are now. I'll mark it on your hunter, mate. Uh, okay. About three quarters of a mile. Walk back to the ATV. Okay, extra space heaters, trying to play a sound, scaring kids, stories of witches. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not putting this one together. Like, are they trying to, like, for, for, to me, it seems almost like they're trying to pretend there's a swamp monster for tourist attraction kind of thing, but why do you need to pretend there's a swamp monster when you got a river full of gators? Just, you know, clickbait the title a little. Dinosaurs roam the land and will eat your pets. I, I'm pretty sure someone would still show up. Speaking of eating your pets, how have you survived? 